Welcome to Carol and Gary's Sea America Tour. Hello again, everyone. On Tuesday, August 13th, Carol, Jasper, and I traveled 102 miles from La Crosse, Wisconsin to Baraboo, Wisconsin. After mentioning House on the Rock while visiting Rock in the House, you didn't think we'd leave you hanging without visiting House on the Rock, did you? The House on the Rock is 60 miles south of where we are staying in Baraboo and was actually already on our itinerary for this stop. So on Wednesday, August 14th, Carol and I drove to the House on the Rock. In 1945, a 31-year-old man named Alex Jordan, who had been coming to a 60-foot column of a rock called Deer Shelter Rock for years as a wilderness retreat, bought the land and began construction of a peculiar Japanese-style house. The structure was said to have imitated the fusion with nature design, design style of Frank Lloyd Wright. By 1960, people in the surrounding area were becoming curious about what Alex was building and started coming to the unfinished house to investigate. Although he initially tried to keep curious onlookers away, Alex decided to take advantage of this curiosity by charging visitors 50 cents each. People gladly paid the 50 cents. By the end of the first year of charging admission, the house had taken in $5,000, and Alex realized that he could finance additional projects by using this tour fee. He continued to build this complex using income from the tour fee until his death in 1989 at the age of 75. Our tour included three areas of the grounds, but much of what we saw was not well lit. The first area that we visited was the Asian Garden, which you just saw, and the original house. The house was made of local stone, mortared together to allow the stone to stay exposed. Notice this large fireplace. Many animated displays throughout the house play music while people wonder at the imagination needed to make this happen. One of the many features of the House on the Rock is the overlook called the Infinity Room that extends 218 feet over the scenic valley below. Near the end of the Infinity Room is a window looking down that lets you see the ground below. The second section that we visited contained the largest carousel in the world with over 20,000 lights and 269 animals. The carousel is 35 feet tall and 80 feet in diameter. Notice that there are no horses in this carousel. Also in the second section that we visited was an area entitled Heritage of the Sea, where ships and other naval items were on display. We also saw random collections of other items on display. We saw a Fabergé egg collection. toy car collection,
an old camera collection. and a doll collection. In the third section we saw an extensive circuits collection. This included the performers and the animals, as well as the daily activities of the performers, such as all eating together in a large tent. We also saw a large collection of dollhouses and a collection of Christmas plates in the third section we toured. It took us four and a half hours to go through most of the house on the rock. In 1972, Alex was involved in a near-fatal car accident. He sustained multiple injuries including a broken neck. Although he recovered and continued his dream at the house on the rock, he lived the last years of his life in chronic pain. Alex never married nor had any children, although his lifelong companion Jenny Olson was always close by. On December 14, 1988, Alex sold the house on the rock to a longtime business associate, Art Donaldson, a collector and businessman from Janesville, Wisconsin, who shared many of Alex's interests. Alex was hospitalized on October 11, 1989, and passed away from congestive heart failure on November 6, 1989. Thursday, August 15th, Carol and I drove to the Wisconsin Dells and took a two-hour boat tour of the Wisconsin River. In this area, the Wisconsin River has an impressive rock shore. At a stop on our tour, we walked through a narrow formation of rocks. At the second stop on our tour, we walked up a small boardwalk to a rock formation known as Stan Rock. The top of this rock is 47 feet above the ground below.
On cue, a German Shepherd dog leaps to stand rock and then back. On the way back to the boat, we saw numerous mushroom-shaped rock formations. Well, this does it for our stop in Baraboo, Wisconsin. We will be leaving tomorrow morning for Madison, Wisconsin. If you like this video but have not yet subscribed, please do so to be notified of future videos. And as always, feel free to share with your friends. Thanks for watching.